this ANN News Brief. Good afternoon, I am Olajumo Keolatunji. 13 Senegalese have been sentenced for making efforts to establish a cell modeled after Boko Haram. The ringleader of the group, Makta Diokan, has handed a 20-year prison term. 30 Senegalese were put on trial in April for their suspected involvement in the cell. Senegal has been lucky to escape the Qaeda rebel groups that has destroyed Mali. An estimated 20,000 people have been killed in attacks involving Boko Haram. Tunisia's parliament has passed a law that will help its government fight against corruption. The law will require senior officials to declare their income. Prime Minister Yusuf Chachid said this would make it easier to identify any legally acquired wealth. Parliamentary Speaker Mohamed Nakia said the law is another step in efforts to fight corruption, ensure transparency and preserve public money. Penalties for illicit enrichment include fine and five years imprisonment. Corruption is widespread in Tunisia and costs the country's struggling economy billions of dollars yearly. We'll be back after this break. percent bonus for reactivating your MTN SIM. That's right. If you haven't used your MTN SIM for 45 days or more, recharge now and get 2,000% bonus. That's right, 2,000% bonus for your first recharge of every month. DR Congo's Joseph Kabila has refused to make any pronouncement on his future political ambition. Kabila's tenure ended in December 2016 and people had expected him to make his intentions known. Elections in DR Congo are scheduled for December. There is speculation Kabila intends to seek a third term as allowed by the Constitution. That is it in news brief for details in this and other stories. Visit our website tnnafrica.net. You can also join the conversation on our social media platforms Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at TV. I am Olajimoke Olatunji. <laughs>